Yesterday we worked on a PS5 that came in for the blue light of death. And we went over what the problem is. We had a short circuit. Let me show you quick. We had a short circuit we measured next to the main power connector. Those two prongs here. We got that console in while I was working on the one that I posted yesterday. You can watch yesterday's video. And while I was working on it, a customer came in and brought in this PS5. And what I did is I measured for a short in this area, just like yesterday's video. In yesterday's video, the first cap was shortened to ground. We injected voltage on the cap and we monitored the board under a thermal camera. And when I injected voltage here, we got a heat spot at this cap. When I injected voltage here, we got a heat spot on the first cap. When I injected voltage here, we got a heat spot on the first cap. And the same goes for the last one. I injected voltage on the last cap and the first one was heating up. So it was obvious that cap number one was at fault. But in today's repair, it's a different story. The system turns on for a second and then back off. Turns on for two seconds and then back off. Now, I already started working on the repair, and the reason I pulled all those caps off the board was because when I injected voltage right here, we got a heat spot at the first cap. When I injected voltage here, we got a heat spot on the second cap. I injected here, we got a heat spot on this one. I injected here, we got a heat spot on this one. So there's no one specific cap that is shortened to ground. So I thought, let me remove all of them just to make sure before we proceed elsewhere. I removed all four caps and we still have a short circuit. And the reason I made yesterday's video talking about the blue light of death was because a user asked, how do we solve the blue light of death? And I answered by saying there's no one answer that you can have that will help you solve that issue. It could be a lot of things. In yesterday's video, it was cap number one. In today's video, it's neither of the caps, even though we have a short circuit right here. Look, you see, we have a short circuit. Now, if you measure any one of the caps, we do not have a short anywhere. Not here, not here, not here, and not here. Okay, but we do have a short if we measure here. All those caps are connecting in parallel. So if you measure here, you get a short, 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 and short. All of them are one line. So where is the short coming from? I did mention in yesterday's video that the short could also be coming from back of the board. And today is the perfect example. If the short is not coming from here, based on my experience working on those consoles, we're gonna flip the board. And the short is likely coming from here. Now, I do not know what that line on the chip is, but usually I've done it more than a couple of times where the short was this tiny cap that you see here. I do not know if that's the case for this console. But right now, if we injected voltage at the caps that I removed, or we can inject voltage at the coil, I can inject voltage right at the coil because the area here is small. So if I put my probe here and I flip the board to see where it's getting hot, the probe is gonna slip. So if I point the probe here, it will be more secure. And look, we have a short here, okay? At that short zero voltage drop short zero ohm short so let's go ahead and inject voltage at the coil and we're gonna flip the board to see where the heat is coming from i told you where i think the heat would come from because i've worked on those issues before but let's take a look at this together i have my voltage injection tool beeping to indicate that we have a short i just flipped the board so i was right it's the area i told you about The short is coming from right here. The caps I removed were from front of the board, right here, and the short is coming from right here. Now the short could be coming from a couple of places. This cap and this cap are connecting in parallel, so it could be either one of them. Why don't we start with the small cap? And then if that does not release the short, we'll jump over to the big cap. If that does not release the short, then we'll remove the chip.
All right, I just realized we lost audio. We need to fix this problem. We are using the Sennheiser transmitter and receiver, one of the best in the market. Those are the standard in movie sets and recording. They do not have a feature to let you know that the battery is dead. I always have to keep monitoring OBS to make sure we have audio. I did not realize until now that batteries went dead on the transmitter or on the receiver. What can you do? I do not know when we lost audio, but I'll tell you what we did. So we monitored the board under a thermal camera and the heat spot was coming from here. I told you it's one of the three components that's probably shortened to ground. The big cap, the small cap, or the chip. Those caps are connecting in parallel. We did measure this cap. We do not have a short, so we know that our short is either here, here, or here. I removed this cap. And in one of the videos, this cap was the one that was shortened to ground in one of the scenarios. But in this case, this cap is good. This cap was the one that was shortened to ground, so we know our chip is good. This guy is good. All we have to do is replace this cap, hand the motherboard to Big Bus to reassemble and test, and we are done. Now, I do have a donor board here. And it looks like I already removed both caps from this donor board. But that's OK, because we have a lot of donor boards in stock. What is the value of the cap? Specifications on the cap, I do not know. I never measured it. When I get to my last donor board, then maybe I'll measure it. If somebody want to leave the value down in the comments, feel free. Yeah, right there. We just had a person that came in checking on the status of our workshop, our training workshop. He's one of the first ones that came and paid for two courses for the workshop. And I told him we're going to probably start in October. He came in with a few questions. He said, what do you think if I invested in a $70,000 machine that can test car motherboards? I told them, I think you're rushing. Why don't you learn the micro soldering skill first? Become good at it. It's like a new business owner or a new person that never had a business before. They want to open up a business. And all they can think of is, how is the sign going to look like? The counter, the benches, the chairs for customers. I want customers to feel comfortable. I want to invest in thousand dollar chairs, the leather couch. The person is already in thirty, forty thousand dollars and he's not even making a dollar. That's bad business. What if you do not make money for the next couple of months? What if you decided to close that business? When a person comes to you, they come to you so you can fix their console and not so that they can sit comfortably on that chair and enjoy that high quality counter that you have. Some customers, they can even get intimidated if the shop is too fancy, because they think, oh, that shop is probably expensive. You go into a clothing department store, and they have that shirt inside a window. You cannot touch it. You immediately think, oh, that shirt must be like $1,000. But if you go into a shop where they have the clothes, piles and piles of clothes over each other, oh, I'm getting a bargain. So one step at a time. Do not overinvest in your business. Just learn the skill, become good at it, and good things will happen. We are done. We just need to solder those caps back. We're going to use the solder that's already on the board.
let's measure. And we do not have a short anymore. We're gonna measure to ground. And now we are reading 0 0.34 voltage drop and that's because the board is still hot. The reading should be closer to 0 0.4. Right now it's 0 0.33, 0 0.34 going up 0 0.35 perfect perfect we're not reading a short anymore and the job is done i'm gonna hand the board over to big boss to reassemble and test and maybe i'll finish the video with big boss testing that console i'll be back big boss is done with the reassembly he just pulled up on me and like always no doubt that this ps5 is going to work Just like yesterday's PS5. Yes, the console is working and we are done. The boss of all bosses did it again.